Hello again! Amy from AdventureBox here, bringing you yet another tutorial. This time I'm getting started on categories that I kinda skipped over when talking about the Maker. Trust me, it was necessary, the video would've gone on forever if I hadn't done that. Well anyway, you have a world and it looks all fancy and decorated. But you might feel like something is missing. Creatures can liven up your world and make it feel inhabited. So let's talk about how to create some. Now when you first start out, the creature palette will be empty. But as you make more creatures, it will get filled up. As you can see, mine is full to bursting. When you want to create a new creature, just click Design a new creature. Whoa, hey there fella! Don't you growl at me, I will not be intimidated! Okay, so there are currently three types of creatures to create. There are humans, goblins, and dwarves. Regular humans and dwarves are nice by default, but mass creatures and goblins are hostile by default. I'll go over the differences a little bit later. Up here, you can change your creature skin color, tattoo or facial marking color for humans and goblins, and hair color or horn color for goblins. Oh yeah, and the terms down here? They determine your creature's size. Mooks are normal sized, mini bosses are a little bit bigger, and bosses are huge! So click on the size you wish your creature to be. Okay, let's get to actually customizing a character, shall we? The first category is faces. Here, you can find several facial designs, as well as some different types of masks. Do you want a character that looks perpetually annoyed, just like me in real life? Or a hamburger-headed man, like characters in old cartoons hallucinate when they're really, really hungry? Maybe this goblin is really old, and this dwarf never could grow a beard. Below that is hair, or horns, for goblins. There are lots of hairstyles to choose from here. Dwarves can even get these fancy little hats. I love hats. Next up is clothes. Now you could also have your characters run around in just their underwear, that's fine, we won't judge. Actually, if you only want them to be semi-naked, that can also be done. Because when it comes to clothes, there are different categories for them as well. Clothes involve both armor and regular clothes. Well, as regular as a chicken suit can be, anyway. Shirts are, well, shirts. Pants are for the lower body. Gloves are for the hands. And shoes are for the feet. Since the categories are divided up this way, this also means that you can mix and match the clothes as you please. Maybe you want your character to only have armor on the lower body? Or they are just very, very careful about their hands? Now here, we have weapons and shields. You don't have to equip a character with a weapon or a shield if you don't want to. Some might be peaceful, some might prefer the good old fisticuffs, and some might just be civilians. Though a civilian could also keep a weapon just in case they need to defend themselves, I guess. Anyway, there are different weapons to choose from. Spears, axes, swords, etc. These weapons will vary a bit depending on the type of creature. In Battlefield, humans can also be equipped with guns. Or you could give them a giant carrot. A goblin beating another goblin over the head with a giant carrot. What a sight. Uh, of course, there are different shield designs too. When you're satisfied with your character, click Save Character, give them a name, and then click Create Character. Ta-da! In your palette, ready for you to use whenever you want. Oh, and if you want to delete a creature, move your cursor over the three lines up here and click Delete. Confirm that you wish to do this action. And voila! They're gone. Forever. Uh, enough about that. Lastly, I want to discuss creature behaviors. There are two types of behavior, friendly and hostile. A friendly NPC will attack a hostile NPC and vice versa. Friendly NPCs will talk to you if you've given them dialogue, and otherwise will mostly stand there. A hostile NPC, on the other hand, will attack the player on sight. Like I mentioned earlier, some creatures and designs are friendly by default, and some are hostile by default. If this sounds a tad speciesist to you, don't worry, you can change that. Right-click the creature to bring up the circular menu, and pick this option that looks like a brain. Here, you can see two smileys. 
the colored smiley is the creature's current set behavior. To change it, just click the other option. Now this big bad wolf became a big friendly wolf instead. I love wolves, they're so cute. Alright, I think that's it when it comes to creatures. For any questions, please leave a comment on this video, send us an email or join our Discord server. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.